Hi everyone, I'm Jody Barrows with The Square in a Square. Welcome to our Facebook page and our Facebook Live. I thought it would be fun and exciting today to just have some quilt talk. I have a couple of really good friends and seasoned quilters with me. I have uh, Kay and Kathy of the Franklin Quilt Company, and they are very talented quilters. They've owned quilt shops and have done a lot of different things in the quilt world. So we want this to be a question and answer time. So go ahead and load your questions down there in the comment section and we'll see if we can answer those live for you. You know, maybe you've thought about um, uh, doing uh, quilting on your regular tabletop domestic sewing machine and Kathy here is kind of a pro at that and she's going to talk to us about that and uh, Kay has so many uh, tips and hints and shortcuts on on just jumping in there almost every quilt and those of you that have followed me for quite some time you know that I've talked a lot about the shortcut binding tool and the shortcut binding tool these are the ladies that created that so that's a really cool way for those of you that are new to the square and a square and what we do. That is a really cool way to get a flange in with your binding all in basically one step all at the same time. So start getting your questions in there and we'll, we'll monitor those. And while everyone is getting loaded and set up for some good times, just get yourself a, um, a cup of coffee or a tea or get yourself something to drink and just join us. And we're just going to have some fun time here talking about what we all love and what we enjoy and uh, see if we can gain some new knowledge and maybe a laugh or two. Um, those of you that... <laughs> no <laughs> laughing. No <laughs> laughing going on. Those of you that have ever been to Kay and Kathy's booth at, at any of the shows and they've helped me in my booth over the last 20 years, you know that uh, the number one thing that they love to do is have a good time. So... Um, um, Kay, why don't you tell us a little bit about um, yourself or your quilting life okay. or how you got started? Or uh, Well, I started out, I graduated from Ball State University in Muncie, Indiana, originally from Muncie, moved to Tennessee in 88. Um, from there, I, I've sewn my entire life. My mother sewed, uh, she made my clothes because I was a pudgy little girl, so we did all of that at home. We'd try to find clothes, never fit, so we end up making them. So I've sewn, you name it, I've sewn it. Barbie clothes, cabbage patch dolls, everything. I've, uh, when we moved to Tennessee, I opened up a drapery workroom, and I did that for over 15 years there in Tennessee. I had a couple decorators I worked for, we did uh, some high-end um, housing, houses, mm -hmm. the window treatments for them. You were in quite a few country yeah, stars' several homes. several country star homes. Uh, you know, there was a few there that I did some personal things for. So uh, that was interesting. It was neat to go and see that, yes, they are just like us. Just and normal but, people. Normal yeah. people. That's yeah. what they are. They're no different than we are. So that was great. Um, but I always had a passion for quilting, and uh, I met Kathy at the local quilt shop in town in Franklin, Tennessee, and uh, we started a friendship. We had a lot of um, common things that we liked together, mm -hmm. and uh, so we just kind of started doing things at shows. I met Jody back in 98. Uh, at a show up in Clarksville, Indiana, or Clarksville, Tennessee, mm -hmm. um, and I took her class. I did the uh, shirt tails from her first book, the uh, little, little blue book, uh, and I did it out of flannel because didn't I had flannel. I didn't, didn't know. Yeah. Nobody told me things, yeah. you know. Yeah. And it worked. And it worked. That's right. You know, yeah. nothing. It didn't yeah. stretch on me. I. It worked. So from there on, I became her number one stalker. <laughs> she did. So if you didn't know that, I, yeah, I, I, the world knows it now. Yeah, I was her stalker. She and, was my first stalker. Yep, yep. yep. And uh, and I, she kept me. So yeah. I, you know, twenty years later, 20 we're, years we're still later. having fun. Yeah, yeah we are. Yeah, yeah. We are. So she, I made her push her to do yeah. a couple things, mm -hmm. and then I pushed Kathy. To yeah. join me mm -hmm. yeah. because Jody gave me the niche with the square and a square to be able to go to the shows and to travel because that's what I wanted to really like doing and, and Kathy to did too and yes. teach because mm -hmm. yes. that's what my de mm -hmm. degree was in but I never did actually teach in a school setting because uh, 
Oh, those teachers stays there until they die. So nobody yes. died with in my county because yeah. with their yeah. home ec degree. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I just kept Kathy and we became very good friends and we opened up a quilt shop. Uh, well, we were with Jody. We traveled. Everything we sold was in the back end of my minivan at the time. Like a traveling peddler. Like we were traveling peddlers. We were. It was all in there. So we go to the guild meetings and sell them. You know, there, there's something that I always like to, to gleam or gain out of every conversation with someone. And I think that something that you can that you can get from what just Kay said is, is that you find out what you want to do, no matter what level that it is. Get some people around you that maybe you do have to push, but that are good influences to yeah. help you and yeah. encourage mm -hmm. you and to make it fun and do it. But And you maybe not always know where you're headed at the time, yeah. but the thing is, is that you're trying and you're doing and, and you're moving towards that goal. One of the, the comments that has already come in on the questions and answers is, is that she's trying to get the enthusiasm worked up to sandwich a quilt, you know, together. So, you know, no matter what you're doing, you know, you need that encouragement to sure. get going with sure. that. Right. Sure. So, you know, we don't know, we don't know for sure, is this her first quilt nope. and she's never sandwiched it? I, mm -hmm. I see that a lot on Facebook where people are trying first to get time, their first yeah. quilt put together and they don't know. It's always good to have a buddy to do it with you. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, that's, that way it makes it go that's faster. That's what we do. We have two ends and mm -hmm. we each have an end. And, mm -hmm. and also check your local quilt shops. Mm -hmm. You know, when we had a shop, we owned a shop for 15, 16 15 years. years. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, ladies would come in and we'd loan them the tables and mm -hmm. they would base their tables there. We helped them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You yeah, know, them how to do it. we showed mm -hmm. them how to do it the first mm -hmm. time. And then they kept coming back. Yeah. And if they're in your shop, they're going to buy something. Yeah. That's and, right. yeah and at this mm -hmm. time of age, yeah. we... And, know, they, yeah. and they know that they can come there and get help. And get help. Right. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. yeah. That's where you and get your help. Quilting is such a social thing. You know, we want to, and especially now in the world of the buyers that we live in, we, we're not getting that social part of quilting. No. And that's one right. reason why... Right. We've been doing so, so many tough. webinars, and we want to do the quilt, uh, the quilt talk today, just kind of a live, impromptu on Facebook, is just to to help us come together and to be with right. each other and and do the social part of quilting with the social distancing and from afar <laughs> right. and everything. Right. We couldn't wait uh, to come to yeah. Texas. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we're so glad to get out of Tennessee. <laughs> come to Texas and see something different. Look at four different walls. walls. Yeah. 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 It was yeah. great. It yeah. was great. But it so. is. And, uh, you know, we all have to be conscious of the virus, but we can still interact with people. Mm -hmm. and, and we can still look at people and, and still look at, at people, people and, and talk yeah. to them at the shop and yeah and uh, you know that's that's been if I didn't have the quilting during all this time oh, yes yeah. I wouldn't well and I think yeah. everybody that well, either was any, already in quilting or was on the edge of coming in, in you know you couldn't buy any sewing machines any thread any no. fabric and right. a lot of places are still without um, all of that, all that. after I always sure. say the fabric termites come in and get all the elastic and fabric, you know, and everything. Yeah. And yeah. They yeah. just yeah. snatch it all up. I I would have been lost. I I don't know where I would be without my sewing and quilting and and and, and buddies, um, and yeah. buddies yeah. you know, yeah. and Jody yeah. and watching her webinars and mm -hmm. knowing, you know, I can get this information out there. Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, well, yeah. Kathy, tell us a little bit no. about yourself. Um, I'm originally from Buffalo, New York. My husband accepted a job down in Franklin, Tennessee, and I said, what time are we leaving? Uh, <laughs> it's cold in Buffalo. It's a little cold in Buffalo. <laughs> I still go back. I love Buffalo in the summer. It's, it's great. Um, so I uh, raised my children down in, in Tennessee, and um, when I, uh, before we moved from Buffalo, my uh, degree is in medical laboratory technology, so I worked in hospitals and, and did that and was very analytical. And had always uh, quilted since I was, oh, probably in my 20s. I think I took a quilting class from a local high school there and, and um, just fell in love with it. And um, always have quilted. When the kids were little, I didn't have that much quilting. I, I couldn't do it as much. But uh, when they grew up, uh, we were had moved to Tennessee and I joined the guild and worked at a quilt shop because I didn't want to work in the hospital field. and. 
stuff. So that was a nice thing, but I had to stop being so analytical and, and start to be a little bit more creative, which is really something I really wanted to do in high school. And then my mother said, well, you need a job. So yeah. I <laughs> got to pay the bills. Don't, 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 don't so hobbies, crafting yeah. and the art. Yeah. yeah. So, you know, there. eventually I turned my hobby into a career. Uh -huh. So this is my mm -hmm. second yeah. career. And and um, Kay has kind of pushed me and dragged me along her little <laughs> journey, and uh, and and it's it's been a wonderful journey, and and we're still going at it. And yeah. well, we, we know each other's strengths and weaknesses, and, and if you're a business partner, mm -hmm. and have a business partner, yeah. she, I have those weaknesses. Mm -hmm. My weaknesses are her strengths. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how mm -hmm. come we got along so really well. You know, mm -hmm. and that's how yeah. we did it. We well, knew. And I do want to say that there's a lot of, of uh, business partnerships that don't work out and don't right. last very yeah. long. And Kay and Kathy are one of the true success stories yeah. in that. And um, uh, it's been fun to watch them over the years build <laughs> yeah. and grow. And Oh, yeah. And, and, yeah, and Jody's watched it all. That. She, yeah. she yeah. has helped us. She's prodded us she's given us encouragement encouragement mm -hmm. to go out and do and just go beyond yeah, yeah just get going yeah, and do yeah. It. So, keep going know, one of the the questions that i hear a lot um in the booth and and uh, at shows and stuff is someone will you know come in and they'll see everything and they'll get excited and you're like you know i really want to do this someday you know i really want to do this you know and i started after hearing that quite a few times is like well, what is stop? You know, what is your stumbling block? Mm -hmm. What is, you know, mm -hmm. if you can talk about it and figure out what, what it is that's preventing you from doing something that you love and that you want to do and that you've set a goal to do. And I just, I just want to tell you guys that when I first started, uh, well, I've sewn all of my life. And when I first started falling in love with quilting and it became a passion that I wanted to do it all the time, is I had little kids at home. I had two two little boys. I did not have a sewing room. I did not have a sewing table. I actually used my ironing board and set it down on one of the lower levels, and I put my sewing machine on it, and I had just a little corner in the middle of the living room where the boys played, and that was where I sewed. And so, I, you know, I think that, you know, take whatever you've got, whether it's an mm -hmm. ironing board or a corner of a room right. or whatever and make yourself a little environment where you can be creative i could mm -hmm. still see my boys i could still interact with my kids right. Right. um and i could i could sit there and sew mm -hmm. and right. we were visiting earlier about that the way that you know people were like how do you get so much done you have little kids and and one of the girls said well you sew 10 minutes here and you sew 10 yeah. minutes there and when right. you have a sewing space set up and you've got 10 minutes, well, you can run over there and keep working on your project and spend 10 minutes on it or, yeah. you know, 20 minutes while supper's cooking or, right. or right. you know, whatever. And um, I think that, you know, be, I think just be good to yourself, create a little environment with whatever it is you've got, whether it's a sewing machine and an ironing board and, and put it and just do it. And just, and just get do it. going. I think the do hardest something. thing sometimes is just getting, getting started. Going, started. Yeah. Yeah. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah. And knowing where everything's at you have to be a little bit organized yeah. mm -hmm. you know have mm -hmm. your boxes or have it ready for mm -hmm. you to sit down and sew because mm -hmm. right. you don't want to sit there and think well where's this at or where's mm -hmm. that at yeah. right. right have your utensils or you know everything your right. everything mm -hmm. kind organized. of right there, there. organized mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Little so totes or little totes plastic or drawers. There's what, all kinds of organizing things. Right. And it's these so stores. much fun to do, too. It sometimes. is fun to do. You know? <laughs> sometimes it's more fun to play in your it stuff. It is. It I, is. I remember one time when the, the boys were in grade school and uh, sewing there in the corner of the living room and they were walking home from school. And I had um, a bigger cutting table at that time and had my fabric stash kind of under that table. And I was down on the floor playing in that fabric and so when the boys came running in the front door after school they didn't know you know where I was and that I was down there under that table playing in my fabric and uh, my youngest one runs in the door and one of his little friends that lived down the street came running in the door behind him and and the other little kid said where's your mom and he goes oh she's probably down there playing in her fabric you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you you know you you get your enjoyment from so many uh -huh. different yeah. Yeah. areas of the process yeah. you uh, do. of doing it and during and, this pro pandemic that's first thing I did was organize my yeah. stash and you know it was like oh yeah i've got 
this project. Well, when you start flipping project, through yeah. books and books magazines, and magazines, you see your stash, and you, and you start creating and building yeah. all of this, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, in your head. You may be like, oh, I don't know what I want to make or what I want to start on. And sometimes you may even have a list with 12 or 24 right. quilts on it. But for some reason, none of those That's are sparking. What you no, want they to don't do. spark yeah. your, you your joy. Yeah, start so move on. Different. Do yeah. something okay. different. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Cut up a bunch of have two and a half inch squares mm -hmm. ready for you and just sew four patches nine yeah. patches yep. and yeah. put them into a quilt yeah you know that just gives you a little bit more that helps you to find your seam allowances to make sure they're correct because if they're a nine patch or a four patch you can trim those little guys down to whatever size you want and jody you have a ruler that does and you that, have a ruler you, you know you do so if you don't want to cut them into the right. squares yeah. Yeah. you can you sew your strips, strips together, together and, and then do the nine patch or the four, four patch, patch ruler. and yes. also last winter we did a lot of stash buster um mm -hmm. videos and webinars and you can just take whatever width of strips, whatever colors, and we did several different projects with that to help use up your, your scraps and yeah. what you've got yeah. left. Yeah. And just, just get in there and start playing and, just and start. see what direction yeah. you go. Right. And if you're having fun, keep doing it. And if you don't, then move well, on to something, something else. else. Yeah. 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 And, yeah. And yeah. don't be afraid to go through your stash. And if that fabric you don't like anymore, exactly. get rid of it. Get rid Give of it. it to your friends. Somebody you know, gonna love it. Somebody's yeah, gonna love it. love it. I took mine uh, when we sold our quilt shop. We had a quilt shop and we sold it in the end of 2018. Mm -hmm. And the woman that bought it, she, you know, it's still there in Franklin, the quilting squares. And I took a lot of things into her. You could do the same thing. You know, she could cut them up into fat quarters and sell them for a dollar fifty. Or your guild. You can or your guild. guild. They can do charity quilts yeah. out of them. Yeah. But don't feel like, you yes, we put a like lot of money yeah, in it. Yeah. But if it's but, no longer but if happy, it's no it, longer it's happy, happy, it's not giving me joy. It's not giving me any joy, joy. Yeah. yeah, or happiness. Yeah. It's got to go. I've yeah. got to get rid of some of it. And that's what I've been doing a lot with my stuff. Yeah. I've, uh, there was a girl that I, you know. I've uh, inherited past some customer. of it. Yeah. Yes, you inherited well, it. And sometimes and all of that just kind of hangs over us yeah. and we feel Heavy. guilt mm -hmm. or we feel like, man, we got to get back to that. Well, there's a reason why you haven't gotten back to right. that project. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Don't so, want to do it anymore. Yeah. 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 Right. Right, yeah, it I is. It's so just, don't don't let it give you the quilt guilt of sitting right. there saying right. you've got Move to on. come back. I've got to, to do it. Yeah. Or forward. if you find a project and it was meant to be, Something you know, this sure. other quilt that was elaborate and all of this, and you've got half of the blocks done, say, okay, I'm putting these together with sashings. The quilt yeah. is going to be done today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't worry yeah. about going ahead and yeah. finishing yeah. that exact design. That right. You're not yeah. That you're I not always say that in. when you're done with a quilt, you're done with a quilt, whether yeah. it's physically or mentally. Right. Whenever you're mentally done with a quilt, just be done with it. And I, in my lectures, I've shown some antique quilts where there's just a half a block along one side. Right. It's a beautiful quilt. Oh, you yeah, look at the quilt doing, yeah. and mm -hmm. you never see that it's half, half. done on one side. Right. No. You know, until I right. point it out in yes. the lecture. You know, and here this quilt has lived 150 years. It's beautiful. Um, I paid a lot of money for it. Right. You know, yeah. and, uh, and and it's and it's a beautiful quilt, and it's living a famous life in a life. That's right. So, yeah. That's right. Yeah. That's, great. That's right. That's great. Yeah. And, and yeah. you know, don't worry about if your points don't match exactly. Yeah. Get better don't, and move on. Just, that's right. Yeah. It's so because experience. you said last night when we were talking, you were like, well, when you quilt it and you wash it, you're not going to know. You're not going right. to know. Yeah. You're not going to know right. that that was just a couple of threads right. on. Yeah. 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 That's why I like Kathy, because she's the machine quilter. I love to piece. I'm not a machine quilter. union. You know, so I would make a quilt and I'd hand it off to her and she was I was so thrilled to get a quilt get that it. was I didn't put together. So I hadn't right. put a lot of time and energy, energy into in it. it. So yet. you were so fresh, fresh and ready to go. To me, right. so, yeah. you know, we would baste it and mm -hmm. then I would just uh, go to town on the quilting of it. because yeah. that, It's okay part. to just be a topper. Yeah. It's okay to, to just be, be a yeah. quilter. Yeah. Because right yeah. now, ladies, actually, I probably have 30 plus quilt tops. Mm-hmm. And it, that's okay. And that's after it's, sorting through them. And that's, and yeah. You've given yeah. a lot away. Yeah, yeah. I gave a yeah. few, some away. Yeah. And, yeah. and because mm -hmm. I am a piecer and mm -hmm. I... I can get them done, but I've got to... And that's to, where your enjoyment and that's is. that's where my yeah, enjoyment, enjoyment is. comes yeah. from. Yeah, I was giving a lecture, oh, this was maybe about two years ago, and as the, the, as the people were coming in and setting down, there were two ladies on the front row talking, and one of them said, she said, 
just they didn't know each other and she said um are you a quilter and she said well actually and both of these ladies were I'm going to say seasoned up in years. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> yeah. So, um, as she said, so are you a quilter? And the other lady said, she said, well, actually, I am a topper. I just like piecing the quilts and putting the quilts together. And the other lady said, well, you know, I, I guess that's all right. That's probably what my favorite part is, is just putting the top together. Good. And she said, but then I feel so bad because I can't afford to get them quilted. Right. You know, and the other lady said, Oh, I don't get all of mine quilted. And the other one said, you don't? She said, no. She said, I'm not going to worry about that. She said, what I love to do is piece the quilt tops. And she said, if I need a gift or if a family or someone, friend or whatever, I need this quilt quilted, mm -hmm. she said, then I'll take it and get it quilted oh, when yeah, I need it. Great idea. But mm -hmm. she said, plus, she said, she said, I don't live in a big environment. And she said, a quilted quilt takes up more room mm, and right. you have more yeah. expenses in it. She said, why do I need it done if, if I don't need it done? Right. Right. You know. You're so right. she said, I'm making all these tops. I'm having a good time with them. If I need them quilted, I'll do it. And if I don't, she yeah, said, I'll let my family worry about that later. <laughs> right. And then the other lady sat there thinking about it. And she was kind of quiet for a moment. And she said, well, yeah. She said, they'd much rather have tops than all of this stash anyway. Yes. <laughs> and I thought, that's so right. true. Yeah, that's they true. would rather have than finished than tops fabric. Yeah. than just a stash yeah. to yeah. deal with. Yeah. yeah. Because so. then they can take it. If they mm -hmm. find one they really like, then they can take it and have it yeah. quilted. Yeah. yeah. That's, yeah. No, that's no, a great idea. Can go. Or if, you know, you could do straight line quilting. For the, for right. the longest time, I just did my machine quilting because I'm a free motion machine quilter and I kind of poo pooed straight line quilting. Well, yeah. then I did a class on straight line quilting. It was like, and so I needed some samples and I mm. was like, oh, this is fun. fun. So yeah. now I combine both methods sometimes mm -hmm. and, and it's very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. So um, yeah, straight, consider straight line. So one of the questions that came in uh, was they said, uh, do you just do square in a square uh, piecing? And so one of the, the things that, that Kay and I, I, Kathy does too, I'm sure, but like we said, more of the topper, more of the quilter here, is, is that um, I think once you learn the square in a square way and you start putting your quilts together, you start thinking about things differently, which helps get your brain cells going for learning all kinds of new shortcuts and ways to sew something up and cut it apart and put mm -hmm. it together. So mm -hmm. Kay has done a lot of that uh, with some different quilt designs and patterns that she has that we're going to tell you about and, and uh, Later, not today, but later in the weeks to come, we're going to offer some classes and some patterns and stuff on that. But Kay has so many neat shortcut tips on, like I said, how to sew something together and how to cut it up and how to build your blocks with that. So do you want to talk a little bit more about about some of that? Well, Jody, as she always said, she brought us to the dance. So we're still here. But what she taught us at the beginning and what the square and square taught us was that, yes, you know, there are so many tips. This quilt here, you can see there's triangles in there. We don't cut triangles. Mm -hmm. Jody taught me that very yeah, early on. So yeah. There's no, no cutting of triangles yeah. in a lot of our patterns. So we've designed some other techniques, but we've used Jody's it's kind basis. of basics mm -hmm. yes. and basis for us to go on to to develop it's our really own technique. Design. Yeah. And now, this quilt here, what's this one called? A uh, scrap box chevron. Uh -huh. And this is a quilt that we're going to teach and have later right. for people to learn how to right. do it. Right. right. And it's basically a half square triangle right here. You want us to lift it? No, he's got it right there. It's right okay. here. Here, yeah. here is a square. And then here is the opposite square. So when we're doing it, we're putting the two together, and we'll show you all of that. But look how we still get those nice sharp points, just like we always do like we did them. with yeah. the square and the square. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Jody taught yeah. us that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times, ladies, you know, with Jody's technique, you know, if you're doing another pattern, it can be easily adapted. adapted yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. And that's done that what I've done that yeah. a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, we can't, as Kathy and I, we can't write up 
Jody's instructions. We wish we could, <laughs> you know, but we, when we're making our quilt, mm -hmm. we use we Jody's <laughs> technique, but yeah, then when but we, we write, write the, the pattern, pattern it's a little according to the basic mm -hmm. way of making mm -hmm. a flying mm -hmm. geese or a half square mm -hmm. triangle. Mm -hmm. Right. But we but make you can it, always adapt. Yeah, but yeah. So you mm -hmm. can adapt it very mm -hmm. easily yeah. Yeah. to her technique yeah. and uh, what Jody taught us and what she's teaching you all is a lot of good basic fundamentals that um, one of the things that I love that we that we got to do during the the pandemic and the lockdown is is that we just really immersed ourselves in the webinars and the teaching and um, everybody of, of the watching and it, it, it helped us get away from what was happening in the world and it helped right. them and we love that but the thing that happened during those webinars and, and the people really immersing themselves is they started getting their square eyes right. and they Absolutely. started seeing the quilt and mm -hmm. they started learning. They actually started opening up their books with all that information and reading the charts. <laughs> and really, you have to and, open and the books. Yeah. You've got to open the book. Yeah. I always tell them everything is in the book. No matter, there's, I don't think there's any question you can ask and me it's true. that I can't say, go to page 34, so, go to right. page whatever, there uh -huh. it is, you know, yeah. right. uh, it, it's in there. But they, but with the the webinars every day or multiple days during the week or whatever, they really immerse themselves into it, and and, and you do you yeah. do with Jody's technique you do you can't just do one little thing and a quilt a quilt oh and I did then, a quilt yeah. with that years ago yeah, yeah. yeah. no it's a whole no, no, no. way it's, whole, it's yeah. the whole system whole and you've got to keep doing it over and over again so you know exactly how to do those option threes or mm -hmm. uh, you know. Uh, how to do the Texas two step, two step. Yeah. Right. yeah, and Why? you know, and, yeah. and all of that. Yeah. So it's it's an immersion and with Jody doing all this. It's just fantastic. You know, I've always said that with, um, you know, when I would go and travel and teach, you go in and you do a lecture and you mm -hmm. do a six hour class and then you're on the road and you go to the next and so on. So it's like you just kind of throw a little bit out there at them and hope they catch it. Right. You right. know, and right. with Inspired with the webinars, yeah. you know, that they would apply themselves and do and then life gets in the way and so on. But with the webinars and with the online teaching that we have now, they're actually able to learn more and mm -hmm. move mm -hmm. and progress down yeah. the road more yeah. than, and, and than they ever were before. Three hour, six hour yeah. class. Oh, yeah. 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 And, and it's yeah. great because you can go back to the webinars mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. replay them and mm -hmm. say, oh, well, what did she say about that? Right. And I right. really... Yeah. Enjoy and, sitting there and watching them right. sometimes. As with a class, a lot of times, you know, um, you, you were given the supply list and cut it, but you only maybe had two blocks done and you decided you didn't like those colors together. Right. And here you've got all of that, mm -hmm. you know, with the webinars, you know, that she's, that Jody's doing is you can make a block and see if that's what you like. Mm-hmm. And you can tweak it. Yeah. And I just see what you want. I think something that they've caught, and I've heard, I love it when I hear them repeat back to me what I know I've said in the yeah. webinars. Yeah. But I think something that's really important that goes along with what you're saying is I always talk about cut a little, sew a little, cut right. a little, right. sew a little. Right. You don't want to do because you whole, you do want to be able to out. make changes and not be right. pigeonholed or painted into right. a corner as I've got to do this quilt this way and I'm not loving it this way. Right. Right. And so, and then all that fabric is cut. And, and dedicated to that, it makes it more and it difficult goes, to yeah, bring it right. in. Goes yeah. in that box, it gets mm -hmm. shoved back in a corner I always say somewhere. it's going to go in a box under your bed waiting for your estate sale. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> That's right. That's yeah. right. Yeah. yeah, and I don't think, I think at one point today you were talking about um, the kit, you know, so you've got half your blocks done. Yeah. And when you're finished with finishing up those half blocks and you got all that other fabric, take it out of the kit and put it in your general stash. Right. Let them be Let become them friends with new something. people. Yeah. 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 They need mm -hmm. to become friends out there. Mm -hmm. And if you've got little pieces left, you know, have that box that has your two and a half inch squares in it or your strips or yeah. your yeah. whatever. Mm -hmm. And so you can just put them in there when you're finished with that project. Mm -hmm. You know, disperse it. Mm -hmm. Don't just put it back yeah. in the bag, right? Mm -hmm. And let it back on the shelf. Mm -hmm. yeah. Disperse put it, it back in with and your get group. It, mm -hmm. and so you'll and like you say, let it make else. new friends. Yeah. I let always talk about friends. the fabric, yeah. the pieces learning to live together. They're going to mm -hmm. live together. When we talk about pressing, I talk about how 
you're requesting this piece of fabric to do something that it's never done before, which is bend over backwards and spend the rest right. of its life like that, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. and that how it wants to do what you want it to do. It's like a good little pet. It wants right. to do, but you have to teach it and train it and learn how to handle your fabric to do that. And so, right. you know, your your fabric is your friend. It <laughs> is. And you want it to is. treat it. Yeah. Treat it, it, nice. is. Yeah. it is. It yeah. is. It is. Yeah. Uh, you know, talking like that, this was a quilt. Um, uh, that we did, Kathy and I did. This is your crazy uh, nine patch, crazy nine, nine patch, uh, and we did it. We had this line of fact that came in when we and owned it, the shop. When we owned the shop, it was in our early years. It was, yeah. And uh, they're very soft colors, so I'm hoping you're able to see some of that. But we were on the road traveling to a show. We had our employees there to make the quilt. Well, they call us and tell us we don't like the way it's going. We don't think these fabrics are going to work together because it's so soft. You need something else. And, you know, they thought we needed a brighter pink in here. And we kind of, we had the fabric with us. We went and cut all the little squares, triangles, put it together kind of right there in the car. Um, and we went, no, this is what we want. And so our vision, we had our vision. They couldn't see our vision. And this is so, how it turned out. And yeah. this is how it turned out. But you didn't out. explain how this went. When we were driving down oh. the interstate, okay, and we've got the fabric in the back, and I have <laughs> yeah, to take we a had, pair we of scissors. Yeah, we were in the Suburban. Yeah. Did we, we probably had a trailer. Did we have a trailer at that time? Was it no. all in the Suburban? Well, I, don't, I don't know. It's but anyway, it was the Suburban. in, no, but yeah, it was. The This fabric was in the Suburban. <laughs> and so here I am. Yeah, crawling, getting out of my seatbelt, going 75 miles an hour down. I mean, 70 miles. Since 70. That's the speed line. And um, <laughs> you didn't throw her and out. So, <laughs> and so I'm crawling into the back, and I am cutting these little pieces, little chunks actually off the uh -huh. off the fabric. fabric. And then I took a piece of paper and I designed the square and, and glued. I don't know where I got the glue from. Must have been another spot back but, yeah, there. Yeah, probably in our bag and that then, we always And carry. then glued it all together. I said, no, that'll work. And so we called them back and said, no, do, that, do, it, do exactly it exactly the way, the way we, we want it. And I think it turned out rather and well. And I think it did. And they were happy. They went, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that's now we like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah so, oh, I can't but tell we, them about my Trapunto. Oh. Oh, yeah, we're going to talk about Trapunto, but I want you to know while okay. you guys were talking and telling your story, I was scro scrolling through some of the comments, and they're loving our quilt talk and our quilt conversation. They're having a good time. Oh, we have so many Great more talks. They, they, they said that it's like sitting around the table with like-minded yeah. people, and that, yeah. that's what we wanted it to be. That's so that's, exactly that's, really, that's really cool oh, and really give fun. Give them a little taste yeah. of what's... And yeah. I'm going to have you talk about quilting here in just a minute because we've got a lot of questions oh, sure. about these yeah, beautiful the quilts questions. and quilting. Yeah. But I wanted to um, call out one of the comments that was on here. Uh, and this lady said that she started watching the webinars in March when we started doing them. And she said since March, she has made 17. Oh, my God. Full size or queen size quilts oh, wow. using the square to square. Yay. Yay. So, my hat so off good job. Great. Great. And uh, she that said she cool. fully immersed herself in it, like we were talking yeah. about, and she's hooked. Yeah. And mm -hmm. that that's that's and how she's going to no do it. No worries while yeah. you're quilting. Yeah. No yeah. worries. Yeah. 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 You know, there's crock pots out there. Plan your meals. Put it in the morning and go upstairs. I thought she said the crock pot. I thought she said the crock pot. I thought she said the crock pot. No, I do have well, that speech impediment. <laughs> there are some crap pots out there. Well, yeah. But... <laughs> you know, we don't need to clean the house every day. No, That's right. No. Straighten it up a little bit, shove yeah. it in the corner, and go sew. Now, something that my grandmother uh, said one time, because my grandmother was a wonderful seamstress and could turn something beautiful oh, she could, uh, yes. from nothing. We talked about that yes. I think, last yeah. night. Yeah. But anyway, she told me uh, when I started doing house and sewing and all that, you know, she was like, set the table. And she said, it'll look like supper's coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> she that's said, right. and then you can keep that's sewing. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It'll look yeah, like you're yeah. doing something. Yeah, and, yeah. and there's a 50s sewing manual out there. Oh, my gosh, it's that where you're supposed yeah. to put your oh, hat on and, 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 and look attractive and, and, and make sure your house is are clean. done. And it's like, then you that. can sit and sew and have no guilt. I'm like, no, we're just going to sit and sew. We need a new manual. Yeah. Well, maybe we should start writing a new manual. We should write one. New manual the way it should be. Yes. The way it should be. Yes. Okay. But, so, uh, um, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, let's hold on just a second here. Catch your breath. Um, 
should they love the idea of making the quilt tops and then waiting to get them quilted um and uh they're laughing with us and having a good time okay so um kathy here is a wonderful quilter and she does all of her quilting on just her regular domestic sewing machine it is not a long arm machine no. she wouldn't so, let us get a long arm machine yeah. even for the shop to even do for yeah. other people she taught classes Mm -hmm. that you can do it on your except she didn't teach me very well but yeah well you're the topper remember you it's a good balance you've got to go uh, back and forth you well know, that's right it's yeah. yin and yang so yeah. how did you yeah. get started quilting what made you want to do it what are some of the frustrations you had at the beginning yeah what? um well um i wanted to learn to quilt i thought the process i i thought it was very analytical and i thought that would be really fun to do is just to to learn how to uh, free motion quilt. And um, I started in 98, I think I took my first class. From and for, it, up in Clarksville, mm, I think. No, I no? Think the first class was, oh, what was her name? Uh, at um, Sewing Machines and Things. Oh, what was her name? Mm, I don't know, oh, but okay. anyways. Um, so I took that class, you know, and it, it was a struggle. It, it's, you know, it's not going to be able to sit down and no. do it right away and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, and I did have an old Kenmore that I really liked and, and, um, had the cams in the top. Uh, uh no, it no. didn't have any cams, but mm -hmm. it was, it was pretty old. And I used that and I did realize that I had to have a little better machine. So I, I did buy a better machine, but I took as many classes in mm -hmm. quilting as I could. And I would say, um, finally, uh, through learning through other quilt ladies that um, one of them, and I don't know what it was that she said, and I went, I can do this. I can do this. I can do yeah. this. And I, uh, it was Harriet Hargrave. Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, I, Harriet I was took, great. That I was took her class. My, it was like, yeah, I think you took several oh, from oh, her. Because I, I, I think it was yeah. like the second or third one. Then yeah. it finally. Yeah, just yeah. like, hit. oh yeah. my God. And I, and I Harriet think the awesome. idea. Yes, yeah, she was. I, I want to do a shout out for Harriet because I really feel yes. like that she doesn't get the credit that she I deserves. She really was the one that pushed the machine mm -hmm. quilting, quilting. Yeah. into, she was the frontier yeah. and the forerunner of it, of pushing machine quilting into what it is today. And in the beginning, mm -hmm. it was not accepted. No. It was not oh, accepted. Oh, no, it wasn't. They didn't. The it was shunned. Didn't like it. Yeah. I remember yeah. being at Houston the very first year that a machine quilted quilt won, and you would have thought the sky was oh, falling. Yeah. It was all very controversial. Watched. Oh, my yeah. gosh. It very was whispered and hushed and all mm -hmm. through the halls of the quilt shows a yeah. whole week yeah 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 she, anyway, she was excellent was. but yeah. uh, you know yes. i i i don't know what it was about her but it was like i can do this mm -hmm. you know and from then i overcame my fear and i think that's the biggest mm -hmm. obstacle I agree. is mm -hmm. sitting down in front of the machine and getting started and once i learned that that i didn't have to be perfect that it was it was fun it, it was mm -hmm. i just learned that it it became fun for me it wasn't mm -hmm. hard and um the machine that i did buy does have a little bit bigger throat on it and and, and that's i think that yeah, helps helps uh, but don't but, let that stop you no no yeah. no no, no, yeah. no no you know just don't do mm -hmm. as big a quilt well know? i will tell you my sister casey and and you know if there's a will there's a way she'll figure it out but pretty much because of the ages of her kids t-shirt quilts are what she's oh, sure. made over yeah. the years yeah. over and over again and she has a throat plate on a tiny little it's travel little, bernina yeah. oh that's not even a normal throat plate and yeah. she quilts those big huge machines in there so if, if you want to yeah. do it you can do, do it, it. You'll, do you'll do it, it. Yeah. yeah yeah you'll and you've got to have a good um you want to have a nice setup you know even if you're sitting it on a table you know make sure that the table is out and Mm -hmm. chairs so it doesn't fall off and, mm -hmm. and things like that. I think we'll learning, that learning to deal with the weight, weight of the quilt right. I think is really important. Right. right. And I think for me when I started doing machine quilting years ago when when you know probably th over 30 years ago now when it was first starting mm -hmm. and and on my machine is that in because I'm a get it down then yeah. check it off the sure. list person you know I could get that top done fast and now with machine quilting I could I now get this quilt yeah. done and in my head I thought I'm gonna sit down and get it done mm -hmm. thinking that 10 minutes two hours whatever and it's not no. so to me the thing I had to tell myself is is that 
Yes, I may be machine quilting it, but that doesn't mean it's done in a blink of an eye. Right. And you right. need to, to, when you feel yourself getting tired with it or the weight of it, because you're wrestling, I always said I'm mm -hmm. wrestling a python while I'm doing this, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. is that you need to take a break. And it's okay. Yeah. It's okay yeah. if you don't sit down and get it all done right now. Right, right. You, you didn't yeah. get the top done all right now sitting down one time. Yeah, right. And you're not going to get the quilting That's done right. all one time sitting right. down. Yeah. Right, yeah. Yeah, right now I'm working on a quilt and it's a, uh, it's a quilt for the fair, which was canceled, but, um, and they're all eight inch blocks and each block is different. So it's so fun to look at it and say, oh, I'm going to quilt it this way and then this way. And I do maybe four a day. And if I don't do four a day, mm -hmm. that's okay. Mm -hmm. And, you know, right now I've got maybe 30 of them done mm -hmm. and I've got another 40. So do you feel like go. it's important uh, for you and, and everybody works with limited money and limited space, but... Mm -hmm. Do you have one machine that's set up for your quilting and you do all your quilting and another one for piecing? No, actually, I just you use do the, the same, same one. one. Yeah. And so I you just, go in and reset it and yeah, everything? Yeah, and it's, I don't think it's a big deal. Yeah. You know, I take mm -hmm. off my foot, put the put the other foot on and mm -hmm. lower my feed dogs and you off go. I go. Yeah. 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 Cool. So it's, it's, it's cool. fine with me. So one of the questions was, how do you decide what to put where? I know. Isn't that? Yeah. Fun. I do spend some time <laughs> thinking about it. I have a, um, you know, of course, when you have a, a lovely space to put it in, you want to have a nice uh, design, a stencil or something like that. To when you have in. that open mm -hmm. space. When you have the open space mm -hmm. and things. And, um, I, you know, uh, later on, I'll be doing a, a machine quilting class at some point. And uh, I will show you but you know I, I have to look at it and you know I see squares here so I did this one in squares I don't know if you can see that one or not do you have that one up yeah you do mm -hmm. um yeah and squares and then um what did I do okay so then I just followed the edges here to get that done and then a lot of it was um uh, uh stenciling stippling stippling type of thing and stuff so that was that was kind of easy to do but there are some that I struggle with a little bit more, but we'll talk later about how I do stars and stuff, and I'll, I'm going to give a demo uh, mm -hmm. at some point or other. And um, yeah, it's always it's always. Uh, I think that's one of the hardest takes, things yeah. for it me takes a while, yeah. to decide what how am I going to do this quilt? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. For me to make the top, it's not hard. That's no. just I can do it in yeah. my sleep. It's yeah. second nature. I can look at certain fabrics and put them together and boom, yeah. it happens. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but for the, the quilting, um, I do I struggle with what to go where. And something that I've started doing, because I did a lot of machine quilting years and years right. ago. I even did it for other people. Right. But then I got busy. My business started sure. growing and, and all of that. And I, I had to put the machine quilting aside. And so I never really got back to it. But I'm hoping and I want to get back to that very soon. Right. But, um, um, what I've started doing is, is of course, looking at other quilts and, and seeing what they and did. going through right. different Facebook yeah. pages yeah. And, and stuff like that. But then I, I look at any um, any design. So you, we most all of us have a pretty good stash of fabric. Mm -hmm. So you could take a piece of fabric and put it down and look at the leaf or the little square oh, or yeah. the little dots. I do that a lot. Yeah. Look mm -hmm. at the fabric yeah. and then say, so like in this quilt here. You could look at these little circles and these little dots mm -hmm, and stuff, mm -hmm. and you could say, "Okay, I want to do some of these little bubbles or some yeah. of these little, yeah. you know." Right, right. And well, say, that's okay. what I did on this particular quilt. Is on the border here. I followed the flowers because it was such a pretty design. Yeah. Why would I? Why create a new? One? Why create a new one? Yeah. So that's what I did. Was I? Follow the design, and then to get from one flower to the other, I just made a little loop another and, little loop. Yeah, and, and then there's leaves. Yeah. I did the leaves and stuff like that. So mm -hmm. a lot of times I'll use a floral border and then just follow that. Mm -hmm. I might have even done that. And no, yeah. no, no. Now a lot of people who are beginning with their machine quilting think, "Oh, I'll just quilt in the ditch," and I have my own thoughts about that. But what are your thoughts about quilting in the ditch? I don't. I don't like to quilt. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Because I'm a quilter, I want it to well, show, yeah. and and I plan on doing a, mm -hmm. a another one, a straight line, yeah. uh, segment yeah. at some point, yeah. and um, all of the quilts are like going across the the blocks rather than 
in the ditch because mm -hmm. you can't see it in the, in the ditch. Well, there's... And, and all that and, work, I want to see it. Well, that's what I've always thought about. It. If you're going to put the work into it, let's see it, let's enjoy it. But I think people, when they're new and they're just getting started, they think, well, I'll quilt in the ditch because I don't want people to see, see it because I'm right. not good. Right, you're not good. So, yeah. if you're not good, that means that you're not going to be able to sew straight. Straight. That's right. And right. that... You're going to have to sew straight in that ditch. Yeah. You're going to do all this. And you're it, doing this You're going way. to be yeah. doing a, a drunk ditch yeah. because you're going like this, which to me is going to look worse than if you if would have you, just come out here yeah, and, and done, done it something. right on top. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. And then like we talked about before, I like to use cotton battings because... I wash all my quilts, and, it, and once I wash my quilts, so it's that little yeah, yeah nice. Because we don't pre-wash, like no, right? I don't yeah. None of us has time to do that. No, and no. I don't want to stand there and iron it afterwards. No, and yeah. I've given some lectures during this pandemic you know? on our webinars about pre-washing, about knowing how to pre-wash and all that. But I do want to say that if with us not pre-washing, we are probably using fabric that have been made in this century, right. so in the last twenty years, Correct. which the fabric is different that's been was. made in the mm -hmm. last 20 years and you are using premium quilt shop fabric Absolutely. you're Absolutely. not using and because part of the premium quilt shop fabric in the way that it's produced and made the dies are set so that you don't have that problem of the fabric shrinking or uh, running and just kind of a tip or hint on that is is that Let's say that you bought a, a jelly roll, and a jelly roll, of course, is cut from selvage to selvage, so the cut edges are with the length of the mm -hmm. fabric, mm -hmm. and the length of your fabric doesn't shrink, it's the selvage to selvage edge that it has shrinks. any loss of mm -hmm. shrinkage, so you don't really have to worry about those two and a half inch jelly rolls shrinking, right. you know, and of course, why would they sell us Two and a half inch jelly rolls. If you have to go in and pre-wash it, how are you going to yeah, pre-wash really, a that. jelly no, roll no, or a can't. layer cake yeah. or whatever? No. You're you're not going to be able yeah. to do that. No. No. So feel comfortable in not washing your fabric if you're using fabric that's been made in the last tw uh, 19 years, 20 yeah, years, 20 years yeah. and by the quality and the premium grade yeah. Yeah. That, right. that you right. have. And if you're unsure, then you know test it with a little piece. Yes. Put and it. We, Put you it know, in a jar of warm water, shake it shake up, it and, up see and, and see what it does. It does. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. you know, yes, yeah. there are some that may mm -hmm. still have dye in them. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. but, and most of our fabrics, when they come nowadays in the last right. twenty years, the way that they're produced and made, they're not going to change. If mm -hmm. it's if it's crappy, it's going to be crappy no matter what you do. If it's good, it's going to be good no matter what you do. I used right. to have a saying that I said in my lectures is, is that don't buy a piece of fabric on the bolt and bring it home and think you can change it. You can't. <laughs> it's yeah. like like marrying a man and think you can change him after you're uh -huh. married. You yeah. can't right. do you it. Then you divorce the him and then you <laughs> remarry him. <laughs> yeah. You used to say that. Yeah, yeah. Why don't you want to change him? Why would you marry the same man twice? twice. Yeah, yeah. The, don't rip your fabric out. Just figure out yeah. how to work with it and keep going. That's right. Keep why going. Would you marry the same I don't understand why you would buy cheaper fabric when it's such a you know you you put all that time and energy into it mm -hmm. and that's the same thing with threads i'm always mm -hmm. harping on and that's another question that they've had on here is threads oh, so let's yeah. let's yeah. talk threads yeah okay. can i can i insert yes. insert mm -hmm. something else sure. even but though i'm we're such watching, a professional yeah. <laughs> you know if if you're not sure of the design i don't know where this popped in my head but you could take um make a copy of your design like if you had this here Make a copy of this on a co you know, on your copier in color. Put it inside of a sleeve, like one of those plastic sleeves, mm -hmm. and, and take a washable marker and, and, draw, and draw and see what you would like on that. That is a great idea. That is a great How idea. How did that pop into my head? I don't Do it, know. Someone cause... needs to write this down. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> you know they have that out there. They have. Clear plastic, remember? We used oh, yeah, to yeah, yeah. They plastic. do have clear plastic. So you could put a piece of clear plastic on top of the quilt there and do that yeah, yeah. instead of making a copy. That's yes. Right. Yeah, yeah. See, there you go. I knew I'd heard it from somewhere. <laughs> but, but that would be way you could kind of do it. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, they say those washable, wash, what? See, I'm from I'm from wash Indiana. I, I'm a, I got an R in my wash. So we um, wash our quilts and yeah. we go to worship. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Um, now she forgot. Now she yes, forgot. I <laughs> well, if it comes back to you, <laughs> we'll pick it up there, Kay. If it comes back. <laughs> you can tell by that blank stare. <laughs> 
us will act like. <laughs> okay, so we were going to so talk threads. about threads. Okay. Threads, yeah. Um, uh, why, why buy the cheap thread? You've put all this time and energy into making this quilt. You've got good quality fabric. Don't buy the cheap thread. Get the high quality threads. And um, when so who I'm would that working be? with, um, well, I like Mettler and I like Orphil. Mm -hmm. uh, there are a, a lot of other things there, but when, especially what I wanted to tell you is when you're working with a cotton fabric, I use a cotton thread because it's the same strength. So if it's pulling, if something eventually, you know, uh, pulls on it and it's going to rip, it's going to rip in the seam because cotton and cotton, you know, the cotton seam will rip. Mm -hmm. But if you're using a polyester to to piece with, well, then that's stronger and it'll rip mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not in the seam, it'll mm -hmm. rip the quilt and you can't repair where it's just where cut. it's just cut. But if you um, use a cotton thread, then if it's going to rip, it'll rip mm -hmm. there in the seam and you just stitch it back up. But you know, well, that's years and years of wear and tear on it and stuff. And but. we talked about how when machine quilting came to be like 30 uh, years ago, they people didn't know what kind of thread to right. use, right? And a lot of right. well, it wasn't out made. there available. Right. A lot of uh, the right. poly threads right. was out there, and, right. and people were like, "We don't know over time how this is going to react right. with the quilt." Right. And now that we're thirty years down the road, right. Right. we know more about yeah. the thread and how mm -hmm. it's going to yeah. react. A lot of it was cotton covered polyester, polyester, I believe, and, that, yeah. and that's mm -hmm. not which you should be using mm -hmm. when you're piecing your quilts. Now, when you're quilting your quilt, uh, you know any kind of threads there's mm -hmm. rayons there's you know all of var variegated there's uh silk there's you know just innumerable mm -hmm. amount mm -hmm. of things and any of those are fine to use for yeah quilting. for quilting mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah it depends on you know if you're going to use a, a the quilt on a bed then mm -hmm. i would stick with a a cotton mm -hmm. but um if you know you're doing wall hangings and and mm -hmm. things like that and you, you want know. some shine or some yeah. texture yeah. all the thread play and, oh yeah, and the, yeah. the paintings that are just being made oh, are just no, red. They're gorgeous, just exquisite. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and there's various weights mm -hmm. to threads. Um, uh, Orphil and Mettler, um, they have a fifty weight, and that's usually mm -hmm. what I mm -hmm. use mm -hmm. as a fifty weight. Now the Orphil is a two ply thread, mm -hmm. whereas Mettler is a three ply thread. So mm -hmm. when I'm quilting, I like to use the Mettler because it's a three ply so I can see it a little better and as mm -hmm. I said before I, I like to you show my it. work yeah. Yeah. yeah and um the Orophil is a is a two ply mm -hmm. but there's lots of different weights mm -hmm. out there there's you know 60 weight and do you think the modern quilting kind of came to be because people wanted more solid space environments oh absolutely. because of the quilting yeah. and that's yeah. why some of that because modern quilting is more solid colors and more open spaces and of course, mm -hmm. in that you can really do a lot yeah. right, with the quilting. Right? Yeah, yeah. I know. Absolutely. Yeah, because yeah. that's that's the most fun is yeah. to oh, what am I going to put in the center, yeah. and then I kind of go from there. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. it's been great. And nowadays, the quilting and some of these show quilts are just fabulous. Oh, just Every single inch is quilted yeah. on it yeah. and stuff. And yeah. And, um, you and know. that's great for them. Yeah. That's, their, that's, that's yeah. their job. That's their that's thing. Their thing. Yeah. That's yeah. their job. And that's their business. That. No, and you no, don't have no. to be that way. Yeah. Absolutely it. not. No. You know, I think we all enjoy going to the shows and looking at the quilts right. and all that. And that's something that I, I'm really saddens me with the environment that we're right. in now is that we're not able to see those quilts right. up I close and personal. Yeah. because. Oh, yeah. You, the pictures, no matter how well they're done, they don't they no. don't they show don't do the beauty and the mm -hmm. value that's uh, right. uh, to that quilt. And so, I really that's probably the main part of not being able to go to a show. That I think seeing those quilts and getting that um, enthusiasm, that inspiration, and, and the inspiration, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. and maybe that little spark of maybe maybe someday my quilt. Will be I'm, gonna there. Yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. that. I'm know, gonna do that. I'm gonna do that in there. And then just the social environment of of being. Uh, with other quilters of like-minded, kind of like what we're doing mm -hmm. uh, today. You can mm -hmm. immerse yourself in that for a couple of days, and that's really fun um, to do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, uh, Kay and Kathy are going to be here with me all week, and we're going to be doing a lot of filming and a lot of laughing and having fun. As yes. you can tell, these are uh, <laughs> a fun group of gals, and there is nothing that is off limits. <laughs> 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 so, um, we but, could tell stories, Joni. Yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> 
they've got the blackmail book on yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, really. <laughs> but anyway, we're um, um, going to be doing a lot of filming of different uh, classes, demos, lectures, machine quilting, these tips and hints and shortcut uh, cutting things that Kay is uh, so famous for. And we're going to be doing some with the shortcut binding tool. We're going to be doing some lives, but we're doing a lot of filming. And we are working on something that we call Quilt Club Week. And because we don't have this environment anymore of being able to go to these shows, we're going to cre create an environment of a week like you would get if you were going to um, a quilt show. So when, for those of you that have never been to a quilt show, of course you would be able to shop the vendors, you would be able to see all kinds of demos and booths, you would be able to set for lectures, whether they're long ones or short ones, and you would be able to set, to set and sign up for actual sewing classes. And so we're going to be creating that environment, we're calling it Quilt Club Week. And there's um, some information coming across your screen that is a link that you can go to and that you can sign up that you want more information about Quilt Club Week. It will be coming in October and we'll be doing more on Facebook to uh, update you and give you more, more samples and ideas of what you're doing. But when you come to a quilt show, of course, all these different classes and demos and stuff, um, I want to encourage you also to um, you may have a friend that lives there in the same town or a friend that lives even in another country but while while quilt show while quilt club week is going on <laughs> it's hard to say <laughs> quilt club week is going on you can still get that environment of being with your friend you can FaceTime with each other while you're all That's in your idea. separate locations watching oh, your awesome own idea. screen and you can be talking about what you're learning and what we're, we're demoing and, and teaching and the lecturing and you can still have that good fun environment and interaction with another quilter, a, a sister, a friend, a, a quilting sister, whatever. Um, and um, um, so we're going to be giving you more information about this and basically you'll, you'll sign up for the quilt club week and everything that we offer that week is available to to those that sign up for it and we'll have details on all of that as we go along but we're going to have piecing classes mm -hmm. we're going to have quilting classes on your own domestic home machine Correct. we're going to have some long arm classes on uh, handy quilters and gamels and uh, what's the other one melting melting I think it was a Nolte. Okay, that one and that one. I, that I one, have yeah. to learn how to. Nolte. 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 N O L T I N G. Okay. Uh, on them, we're going to have square and a square classes. We're going to have lectures. We're going to have demos. Just a ton of fun stuff for that week that you guys will be able to immerse yourself in again. Uh, when we were doing all of these webinars every day, like we said we were doing, you know, we, we were just kind of prepping for stuff and then doing it and doing a lot of on-the-spot <laughs> questions and answers sure. and using a lot of stuff that we already had prepared. And we're going to prepare all um, a lot of new stuff for you and um, have it all edited and, and, uh, and some beautiful videoing for you. So they're here this week to do a lot of filming and we're going to have a lot of laughs too we as are. we go along. We are. Today's day one, so. Yeah, <laughs> so we're fresh. So, well, you'll just have to watch this week for some more Facebook Lives. <laughs> yeah. And we'll throw a, a, f a few more out there for you and um, then we'll be getting our, we might show you some tips of something that we've yeah. done that Or we week might or, even do a story or two. Yes, oh, so yeah. Yeah, we yeah, could yeah no, we might have to do the yeah. Portland story. Oh, the Portland story. Uh, well, oh. that might be um, a good way to close is oh. to close with a story. So, um, all of these years that I have traveled extensively and gone everywhere to do all of this, you know, everybody, 99.9 .9 times, you're going to have to leave names and places out. Oh, sure. No yes. names and no locations. Okay. Right. Okay. We right. don't know uh, his name anyway. Yeah, we don't know. <laughs> we don't know the name. We don't know where we ended so, up at. <laughs> know anybody's name so <laughs> yeah, no so, yeah. so anyway no, like I said 99.99% .99 of the time you're treated like a queen when you go uh, to these oh, guilds yeah, and groups yeah, and yeah. lectures well and, it started and out just, yeah we're ha we yeah. started in in yeah Portland at market yeah so Kay and Kathy were going to join me we were doing Portland market and then I was going to go on to another location somewhere yes. far far away, far away. yeah further uh, north 
Or south, south or east or, or, or west. west. <laughs> yeah, or up or down. We don't know. Uh, we don't know where it was. Uh, and uh, and then we and then we, you were going to do that guild we, with me. And then yes, were we getting we on a cruise ship? Yes, yeah. yeah. the guys were flying in. The guys were flying in. And then we were doing an Alaska cruise. Yeah, okay. Alaskan yeah. cruise. Okay. Okay. Yes. All right. So they're all excited to come with me and everything. So okay. Take it so away. So probably the first thing that happened was we were. It was after. One night after market, we were taking a bus back to the hotel. Yeah, we, a, you, we'd gotten a hotel some, somewhere. Some city and travel. Something. Yeah, city, we, were we doing decided to do something. Whenever we go to a show, we always try to do something non-quilt related. But that wasn't expected. Well, that was kind of. Yeah, well, it was. It turned out to turned be. Turned out to be, but we related. always do but that. we were on the bus. We were on the bus with regular yeah, people. We don't know why people. we didn't. Why we I don't took know the bus why. for sure. And, it was and we were talking, and this man was listening to us. Mm -hmm. Do you remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yes, I thought I was going to die. Yeah. <laughs> well, you thought he was blind. I thought he was blind. He had a bicycle. bicycle. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I think we were talking about how beautiful the... The, the good, the, the, oh, the, the beautiful the vegetation and the, 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 yes, the rhododendrons so and stuff yes, were yeah, like, yes, yes. And the houses were so and pretty we, yeah. and stuff. And, and he's on the bus. And he's on the bus and... And I don't know. He said something about but we, well, we I, asked kind of where to get off oh, at. We yeah, needed yeah. to get off at so yeah. and so, and he yeah. went, "Oh, well, yeah. that's my stop. Yeah, yeah. yeah. just and follow me." Said, Would you like to come see my road? My, road yeah. <laughs> my <laughs> Japanese he garden. Said, yeah, you yeah. know, we had Japanese yeah. gardens. So yeah. we just sure. Said, sure. <laughs> we'll just go with and you. I'm looking at the girls like, "Oh no, no, we don't do this." <laughs> and meanwhile, we're walking down, and he's walking a little ahead of us. And the three of us are there, and Jody goes. I think we could take them if we yeah. need yeah. to. I, I, I think we'll be all right. I think we'll yeah. be all right. I think we'll be okay. I'm used to traveling alone, and there's certain rules I go by to stay <laughs> yeah. safe. You don't One of them is not of... following a man off of the bus to see right. his garden. So. Right. Yeah. so then we went into his back yard. Back yard. I stayed on the sidewalk. <laughs> did you? I did. I, I right stayed in. on the sidewalk. And we went in. <laughs> I thought, okay, I'll call 911. <laughs> And then, and so then he, his, his wife, wife came, came out. And then his wife came and out so on then the front she, porch. You must have yeah. been in at that point. Well, then I felt a little garden. better, but I thought, well, she could be an accomplice. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, really. But, you know, we did. We followed a man home. And, and yeah. 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 Looked, it was, yeah. looked at his garden. It was very pretty. It was yeah. beautiful. It was and a beautiful was a Japanese very, type garden. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was very pretty. Yeah. It, was. it was. And we all made it out alive. Yeah, and we, we made it out alive there, yeah. And we traveled on and went on to our next destination. Yeah. Yeah, and that's where the cabin was. Didn't we stay in a cabin? Well, actually, it was a lady's house was, with a guest house. Oh, that's right. Remember? Guest house. And the la we had to get The lady on. was gone. Yeah, we well, had to we get, had on, to get the, on a uh, ferry. A ferry. To go to one of the islands. Yes. That's right. That's right. Yeah. 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 And so she says, uh, we had, did we have a rental car? They gave us a car. You, you got a rental car, car back yes, in Portland. we had a Portland. rental car. Okay, that's so right. we had the rental car. We went across on the ferry. She met us, and she said, okay, she said, did she um, meet us? Yes, because she took us to that little little uh, mercantile little grocery okay. store. And she said... Oh, get some bread. She, we yeah, got get, some bread. Get, so get your get stuff for breakfast. She said, get whatever you want for <laughs> supper and for breakfast because yeah. you're going to stay in this little guest house. And so we're thinking, okay, what do we want? What do we yeah. want? You know, this yeah. is not normally how it's handled. So yeah. what do we want? We don't know what's there or whatever. So then we kind of gather up a little bit of food. Yeah. Yeah. And, and she sends us on our way. And yeah, and she says... She yeah. says, but the lady knows that you're staying in her guest house, but her son does not, and he may show up. <laughs> <laughs> it was so, in the middle of the woods. I mean, yeah, was, we're in the middle of the woods. Going down the road, it was like, oh, yeah. oh dear, yeah. where are we going? And so we wind up at this beautiful place. Yeah, yeah it was very and pretty. In this little guest house, and um, we're worried that, you know, we're going to be seen as squatters or whatever and get in trouble. Mm -hmm. And um, so that was yeah. that was really kind of an yeah. adventure. Yeah, yeah that and was. We, and we brought bread, bread. We bought bread, so we But there's no toaster. But, we, but there was no toaster, so that's right. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Now she remembers. <laughs> I know. I can never get it in. Oh, I tell you guys, I have not laughed so much in the past three months. six months. Six months. Six months. We yeah. did a FaceTime about two weeks ago to get our trip set up, and we laughed like this on FaceTime the whole oh the God. whole time. Uh, By the end of the week, I don't know that we'll have a voice. That's usually. I know. That's yeah. We'll be. Uh, uh, there'll be some little uh, squeaks yeah. going yeah. on, yeah. but uh, but yeah. 
Yeah, so, we, we do have more of those. Yeah. Well, adventures it, it, it was too. that same trip mm -hmm. that I don't know if it was before the guy with the garden or if it was after, but we met Elvis. On yes, the you did. And yes. oh, that's right. that same was that morning. Same bus. Yeah. Same bus. No, same bus. It was yeah. the same, same bus there. Place. See, I don't remember Elvis. Mm -hmm. What was? was mm -hmm. Where was I? You at don't that remember point? Elvis? I don't remember Elvis. He had his full white. Yeah, he did. On, yeah, his cape and the hair, and he was even singing and. Yeah. You would have thought I had we forgotten, would have, but yeah, I do yeah. remember. See, you I would have thought yeah. we'd taken pictures because we that. did meet Elvis again later in Nashville. Well, yes, remember? Yes, and, someone um, else. Someone else was with Another us. We took Elvis. her to Nashville. Yes. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We had another well-known teacher that we took. Yeah. Yes. yeah, we always took people to Nashville. Went down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> and, and so, I don't know why, but people remember us. <laughs> you know, they meet us once, and they remember yeah, us yeah. for some yeah. unknown reason. Unknown reason, but you know, yeah. they just kind of do. So yeah. we're we're here. Yeah. We're here for the ride. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So as and you the can, journey. as you can tell, working with Kay and Kathy is a lot of fun. And like <laughs> I said, nothing is ever off limits or off the table. So uh, when you uh, uh, if you decide to join us for Quilt Club Week, go to that link there on the screen so that you can. Um, sign up and then that way you'll get all the information and details you'll know what we're doing and when we're doing this is actually our kind of our first advertisement for intro. it our first mm -hmm. intro of it and uh, make sure you stay tuned to Facebook this week we're going to do some Facebook lives and sometimes we don't have any notice um, on it so make sure your your signals and your bells and whistles and everything are turned on so that you'll know uh, we did have a little bit of warning for this one we put this one on last night uh, because we knew we could do it and get it done. Uh, but as we're filming, we don't really want to stop what we're doing to say, oh, we said we're going to do a Facebook at 2 o'clock, so now we got to put all this up and whatever. So we'll just kind of throw some um, out there. So if you have any um, questions that you mm -hmm. want, um, um, email to steve at square in a square dot com if you have some questions you want us to talk about this week as we do some more Facebook Lives. And make sure that you tell all of your quilting friends, you know, right now, get on all of your, your whatever and tell your quilting friends to go to this link and sign up so that they can be a, a part of Quilt Club Week because it's certainly something that you're not going to want to miss out on. It's going to be an excellent value and there's going to be all kinds of um, classes involved. And we're also going to do some ruler work with machine quilting. I know that a lot of people have of requested that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So a lot mm -hmm. of piecing, a lot of quilting. We're also going to have um, some quilts up for sale um, during that week and we're just going to have, have a ball, have a, oh, have yeah. a lot of fun. Oh, had yeah. I known, I would have brought some quilts to sell. <laughs> <laughs> you still can. You still can. <laughs> So, um, so I think we're going to go ahead and close it off now so that we can uh, get ready to start our filming. And we're, as you can tell, we're very, very excited about what we have planned and about Quilt Club Week. And we want you to be a part of it. We want to help uh, provide you with some good entertainment and some good education and uh, just kind of a break from everything that's going on in our environment and our world today. Something that's fun and exciting and and uh, something that's worthwhile and, and creative. Yeah. That's good yeah, for our it souls. Is. It's good, good for, yeah. for it our is. bodies and, it is. and all of that. It, it helps a lot. It helps yeah. a lot. And we also, with me and Kathy here, we want to thank the person behind all the cameras. Oh, yes. Steve, thank <laughs> Mr. You. Steve back yes, here. Thank He's you. feeding he us Steve. breakfast. Yes. Oh, yeah. He gave yeah. us breakfast. Yeah. He gave yeah. us Steve breakfast. Good. He makes my coffee. <laughs> so, you know, we're just in a luxury hotel. We may never go home. <laughs> we, we may never go home. Go home. <laughs> you may just have to call home and say, you know, Texas is locked down. It's we're locked down. down. You, you can't, can't come home. That's true. It sounds like a great plan. I know. We've got all week to get our, <laughs> you get our story <laughs> straight. <laughs> Let's call the governor. <laughs> hey, Abbott. <laughs> right now would be a really good time. Nobody can leave. <laughs> no, there's a real cluster right here. Yeah. <laughs> we need to be quarantined. Uh, so I hope you guys have enjoyed our little quilt talk today. Stay tuned this week for some more. And make sure you sign up for the Quilt Club Week on that link. And make sure you tell all of your friends about it. We're really planning a fun and exciting and educational time. And it would be so very sad for you to miss out on what we're doing. Hope you've enjoyed it. Bye for now. Bye. Bye. Farewell. So long. <laughs> Auf Wiedersehen. Auf Wiedersehen. Bye. 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 Bye.